Hello everybody, here we're going to talk about horizontal asymptotes and how they're defined with calculus and limits. First of all, understand what a horizontal asymptote is. It's a horizontal line that a function approaches as x approaches positive or negative infinity. You sort of see this when functions sort of level out as you move from to the left or to the right. They sort of level out into a horizontal line that can be anywhere. One way to think of it is y equals b, some value b could be is an asymptote if the limit of a function as x approaches positive or negative infinity equals b. So if you see that with limits, you know you have a horizontal asymptote. Here we're going to look at three examples and we'll see this asymptote sort of develop. And there's a rule that will go with each of these three types of examples. Now notice they're all three limits, they're all three approaching infinity. And we have rational functions here, and what you need to remember with rational functions and limits as you approach infinity is it's the, all about the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator of the rational function. Okay, so for number, for the first one here, 2x squared plus 3 all over 4x to the third minus 10x plus 1. Now, if you wanted, you can actually plug that into your graphing calculator. Uh, look what happens as the function goes to the right forever and see where this leveling off occurs. Well, based on a rule, I know that this is going to equal zero right away without doing any work. And here's the rule. If the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the limit will always equal zero. So as we can see, our highest degree term, our highest exponent here is two on the numerator, and then at the denominator, the highest exponent is three. So this is always going to be the case. If you have a large degree on the bottom and you're approaching infinity, it will always level out at zero. Here we have a horizontal asymptote, y equals zero, for this rational function. On the second example, it's kind of big. We have 10x squared minus 13x to the seventh plus 4x to the third, all over 6x to the seventh plus 10x to the fourth minus 2x. Now, degree, we're not really written in standard form here, but notice the degrees of the numerator and denominator. The highest one is 7 for the top, and it's also 7 on the bottom. And the rule is, if the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, then the limit equals the leading coefficients. Okay, our leading coefficients for each of those terms, here let's take them out, we have negative 13 x to the seventh and that is all over 6x to the seventh. See, we're just going to focus on those leading terms. Now, x to the seventh over x to the seventh, think of that as reducing and canceling out. And we are left with negative 13 over 6. So a little bit more than negative 2. This function levels out at negative y equals negative 13 over 6. You can also think of it as the horizontal asymptote to that function. So there's one more, if you haven't guessed, we did less than, we did equal. This is the case where the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. And if that's the case, then the limit will equal infinity. Now, it can equal positive or negative infinity. It just depends. You may want to look at the graph, maybe plug in a couple values to see what the function's doing as you go to the right or to the left. So whenever the degree of the numerator is bigger on top than that of the bottom, the limit will equal infinity.